You don't understand how easily that power corrupts. How quickly it turns man into something no better than a child. Idly burning ants with a magnifying glass. But even a child learns from his mistakes. Even a child one day sets down the magnifying glass, or as your planet has called it, the hyperbolic lensal aperture modifier, and moves on. We can't let the episode air. What? What episode? Episode 211? Mankind is his own worst enemy? The one broadcasting tomorrow? You know the speech at the end that Quinn gives? Yeah, I love that speech. Which one of us wrote that speech? Wait, are you finding a fault with the whole episode just because I may have written the speech? No, you didn't write it, I didn't write it, Rod Serling wrote it. What are you talking about? I was watching The Twilight Zone, and at the end, there was a, one of the characters gives a speech, and it's the exact same speech. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. It even sounded like Quinn delivering it. Same pauses, word for word, everything. We stole four minutes of our show from the Twilight Zone. Okay. This isn't good. Let me think about this. Are you still thinking? Yeah, thinking. Josh, are you still thinking about Yes, it? I am. Look, I'm going to come over. We think better together anyway. Are we reading Dune? Yeah. 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 Still good? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's Dune. It's fantastic. It's great. Yeah, it really is. It's a great book. It... Have you not read Dune? No, I, uh, yeah, no, I read it. When you recommended it, I read it. What was your favorite part of Dune? Uh, the desert planet Ar Arrakis, uh, where the boy Paul Ar Artides. Atreides? Atreides, right. You know, it's weird when you say things out loud for the first time. And when you read them from the back of the book? I'm, no, I'm just... How have you not read Dune? I read it. I, if I didn't read it, how would I know that Atreides became... Atreides. Atreides became uh -huh. Mundoab. Wadib. I didn't read it. I'm sorry. Read Dune. You keep laughing at my Dune jokes. Every, yeah. Yes. I enjoy them. I can tell that they're funny from the way you say them. We could get Tyler to just pull the episode. Yeah, let's do that. It's 5.30 a.m. now. The show doesn't air till 9 p.m. We could get to Tyler's by 6. That gives us a full 10 hours. Wait, you know where Tyler lives? Yeah, I was just there for the dinner party. The dinner party? Would, I wasn't invited to a dinner party. Is he too much of a corporate bigwig to invite me to a dinner party? No, you were invited. Oh yeah, I didn't want to go. I don't really like him. All right, when we get there, I'm gonna do the talking, all right? I can't do it, guys. Look, we are not asking for much here. Take tonight's episode, throw it away, and replace it with a rerun. History spent a ton of money on this episode, and the advertisers are going to see a new episode. We're airing it. What's the big deal? We're plagiarists. That's the big deal, okay? We're unintentional plagiarists, but still. We could get sued. By which court? Judge Dredd's? It's a scientific fiction reference, right? A speculative fiction. But people are going to notice, okay? It's the Twilight Zone. And you mean Judge Dredd, right? No. What we plagiarized was an episode of Twilight Zone. And you didn't notice that at any point during the writing of that episode? No. We're airing it, guys. But... I am the law! Hey, sorry. What, what are you guys doing here? Uh, we need to reshoot the end of Mankind as its own worst enemy. 
We already shot that. That airs tonight. The ending is all wrong, okay? We need to fix it. We're gonna reshoot it, and everything will be okay, and no one will become known as the Thieves of Basic Cable. I, I don't understand. How's that? What are we, why are we doing this? Okay, one, one of the speeches uh, was accidentally stolen. Word for word. Word for word from a Twilight Zone episode. Oh, awkward. Who wrote that? That doesn't matter. The writer's room is just a collaborative thing with the writer's room, just everybody working together. But but I wrote a, a replacement speech, and so you can do that, and we're going to film that here. Have you guys Think slept? Us. You both seem pretty tired. Just this. Uh, don't give me this right now, okay? Do you? How much of Quinn's outfit do you have accessible? Season two outfits, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Let's take one. Action! And I could say more, but to what end? Instead, I think our time would best be spent in silent contemplation. And cut. We have it, we have it. I have one. Are there any changes to 214? I'm just starting a rough cut. No, no, okay, no. Good. We need you to be Terrific. very calm, Yeah. but we need to make a change to 211. 211 two airs tonight. It's okay. 211 is done. That's we not We have okay. it right here. There's no changes. There you go. I can't change an episode that airs tonight. But we, we may have, it, at some point in the writer's room, and by no fault of our own, no. the mm -hmm. room itself sometimes writes. Yeah. And in this instance, when the room was writing, it wrote a scene word for word from the Twilight Zone that we need to take out or, or, or we're gonna be plagiarists. Be that as it may, episode 211 has already been fed to the network. So, but so we it's unfeed it. So then we'll just unfeed that, like one of these machines has to unfeed the thing and then we put this in. This replaces scene 32, right? Quinn's speech to the Nilrez Door High Council. That, if we just, we filmed a new speech for him to give and Ron, you, you just don't put understand. that in. Yeah. It's finished, it's gone, it's gone. The like show doesn't nothing. air yeah. for like another four hours. Six and a half. Okay. But we can. We'll buy a commercial. We'll, we can buy. We'll buy a commercial. Yeah. We'll just. We'll give this to the commercials department. The commercials department. Yeah. And yeah. Go give them a twenty dollar bill. Sure. We're plagiarists. Yeah. What episode of Twilight Zone did you even plagiarize? I'm a huge Twilight Zone fan. The episode with Orson Welles. There's no episode with Orson Welles. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. There's an episode. So Orson Welles is a uh, detective, right? And he solves murders. And for every murder he solves, there's an ironic counterpoint murder that happens. And so he's solving a murder, actually. You have not seen this episode? It's a classic. He's solving a murder, actually, at a football game for the final thing. And he gives his full speech. And then it's basically it's my high school, and he points to me because I'm a high school quarterback, and I'm like a head quarterback. And then, like as a dragon. What the hell? I think I, I have very vivid dreams when I eat candy before I sleep, and I think I was just watching the Twilight Zone, and those two things kind of combined. And this is understandable. This was a great talk. Good this talk. was. I'm gonna go Good. get some sleep. Cool. Okay, have sleep. Sorry, I. I was. Watching. I wrote that speech, by the way. Well, seems like we you've don't got. Have to. Okay, you've got everything under control here. Yeah, we don't have to be in my space. Okay, great. I'll. Cool. Just, just call me if there's anything. I won't. That, okay. Me too. Men of Nilrez Dor, you must abandon this method of punishment. Whom do you help? The judged are irrevocably destroyed. No way to correct their wrongs. And the judges lose even more than the judged. They lose their very souls. Where I am from, we have a book, a very wise book, that teaches us lessons in life. That's not fair. There was time enough at last. It's it's not fair. It's not fair at all. It's, it's not fair. It's not fair. Don't you see? There was time. Time enough at last. <laughs>